Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we will be or I will be showing you how to make a matter fabricator or well not really make it but the, I'll show you the calculations for it and how to automatically feed it with scrap. So um, right now it, I think it's getting more power than it's uh, using scrap so yeah but you sh I don't think you have uh, 14 ultimate hybrid solar panels but here are some of the important or things you need to calculate a lot or consider that you need it so the actual matter fabricator you will of course need one an assembling machine which is this thing it's from the new Gregtech machines a plate bending machine, an assembling table you need six obsidian, one redstone, one diamond, a one diamond gear, and it's made like this. Then a laser, which uh, you need a laser for uh, to power the assembling machine. Wait, let me show you the recipe for the laser too. Two diamonds, two obsidian, and five redstone. At least 220,500 Minecraft jewels. I would recommend you... Uh, to save it in a redstone energy cell and also um, if you would break the redstone energy cell always do it with a wrench or you will lose everything or, or all the stored power in it then you need one industrial blast furnace with at least 1700 uh, well yeah K heat so you know you need like uh, a 3x4 machine casing 3x3x4 hollow in the middle with lava I'm not going into these into this because if you're going to make this you probably already know what this is at least an industrial egg electrolyzer for the titanium and the uh, chrome one recycler one overclocker and some glass fiber to power this you need one overclocker inside it then one igneous extruder at least one lava and water bucket too one wooden pipe one golden pipe, one cobblestone structure pipe, this is a cobblestone structure pipe you make it with a cobblestone pipe and a gravel next to it and a lot of EU to power the matter fabricator I would recommend you to put up a storage unit too I'm using the adjustable energy storage unit but you don't have to, you can adjust this to output um, 2048 EU per tick but it is also quite expensive um, so first of all the laser you will need 5 iron, 8 redstone, 1 rose red, 1 ender pearl and 2 red pipe wire and the red pipe wire is made in the assembly table so you will, uh, let's get a wrench so let's put it that this thing is feeding the lasers so first you would want to make 1 or 8 red pipe wire it just goes in the ground now because there's no chest I think this is bugged let's see yeah it is bugged I think uh, then you will need a pulsating chipset or well you make two of them and after that is done you make four redstone iron chipsets and you put them both in here so let's get to uh, chipset let's get two of these four of these then you need to make wait let's see you put the, uh, those in you make two iron ore gates you don't need the pulsating chipsets for that you need um, redstone and uh, an iron chipset so you make two of these and once you have those you just keep them and then you make two redstone chipsets if you put the redstone chipsets in, you make them into normal gates. And once those gates are done, you put them in there with the pulsating and the iron chipsets. And you will get two Atarchic gates. And that's what you need. Two Atarchic gates and an iron and two iron ore gates. So now you have these plate uh, the assembling machine and the plate bending machine. So um, for the matter fabric fabricator, you need this stuff 
so you can you, you uh, we will be avoiding this recipe we will go to the assembling machine you need an elite circuit board and the lapatronic cir uh, crystal it's pretty easy to make i recommend you to use sapphires instead of this um and the elite uh thing is just four platinum which you should know how to get from um, ferris and one advanced circuit to make uh, make one elite circuit board so you need four of these you put four of these in the same machine with a lapatronic crystal and get four energy flow circuits that, so that's the first ingredient uh, then you need two teleporters pretty easy to make diamond frequency transmitter like this uh, you should be able to do that on your own this the, uh, the titanium you get from um, uh, from titanium dust which you get tiny piles if you electrolyze bauxite so you need bauxite for titanium so let's uh, see 12 times um, how much do we need to so 16 you need 192 bauxite for um, as for the matter fabricator so how do you get the chrome I already said you need uh, 72 rubies for chrome you basically pulverize or macerate the rubies so you get ruby dust and the ruby dust you put into the blast furnace and you get the chrome so that's um, another part done the rest is pretty easy or uh, advanced machine block and then the lapatronic energy crystal you need iridium plate you should also know how to make this and lapatronic crystals I will go over it really quick you need 8 industrial TNT pretty easy to make normal TNT some flint and iridium alloy ingot it's 4 iridium 1 diamond dust it must be dust so just uh, use a diamond into uh, into pulverizer and advanced alloy yeah, pretty easy you know this and that's the recipe for the matter fabricator okay next we show you how to set up the matter fabricator this is pretty compact you need a 2 by 2 by 3 uh, space under your floor your flo floor would be like right here everything is hidden um, make sure you don't do any redstone near it because it's redstone involved this is just a little setup because uh, the recycler down here needs power but not that much and remember it needs low voltage so if you're using an ultimate hybrid solar panel remember don't uh, feed it directly so always use transformers or you could put over um, transformer upgrades in here now how how do you build this? It's pretty easy. You, you get your two at iron ore gates and your atarchic gates. The second one is actually on, uh, optional. It's just to suck stuff out and put it in a chest. So what you want to do is you put your matter fabricator right on the floor. You would like uh, you would want to have like the wall here. You would have to do it against the wall, and then you can put like a storage unit right here now next you want to put a gold you want to get a golden a sandstone oh I forgot to mention that and uh, two cobblestone structure pipes some red pipe wire uh, the, the, uh, we just made that there and the, rec uh, the recycler and the igneous extruder but we are currently full so let's put this there you place the iron ore gate and you place the red pipe wire on it you right click on it you do space and inventory red pipe signal then you go down oh wrong you go down you put a wooden pipe and the recycler and of course the uh, wait the recycler there and the igneous extruder there you want to go in the configuration you want to make sure that uh, orange is down just make uh, just uncheck or make the rest do nothing now put one atarchy gate here 
just say redstone signal off energy pulsar so it's always going to uh, send stuff out when it, when it can now you want to put a cobblestone structure pipe there and one here wait did I do it like that yeah I did you put one pipe wire there one there a one there this is actually a pipe but it doesn't allow stuff to go through it and then you put an iron ore gate here red pipe signal on redstone signal and you want this you go to enabled low you want to put it on high so whenever it gets a redstone signal then it works then it starts so if there is no space in here for scrap this turns off and this stops making um, cobblestone so you get a water and a lava bucket and you just right click it once and now it starts making stuff and it doesn't consume any lava or water to make cobblestone so this is infinite the only thing you will need is a little bit of power so you get glass fiber cable and you just hook it up to your power line that you you should have in your base already also don't forget to put one overclocker upgrade in there don't shit click it in there if there's no if, if there's nothing in here because it will uh, it will recycle the overclocker and it's gone if you don't use an overclocker it will not keep up and it will get filled up really fast because I just made a little mistake so let's do give it a fresh start so this is fast enough to recycle everything that goes through and now let's fill this thing up with scrap let's fill it and now it's not full it is full now well there is no space it, it thinks there is no space so it, um, it stops the signal and this stops working so that's basically it so thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to make matter fabricator and also automate it um, with scrap. Leave a like if you liked it and leave any suggestions in the comments if you want me to make another tutorial for something because I really enjoy making these and yeah it's really helpful for uh, you too. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.